Nolan? Ryan, first off, congratulations on the win, man. Uh, nine years later, how does it feel to, to finally get that one back? It feels good. It's uh, a, kind of a testament to how far I've grown. You know, uh, first first fight really couldn't hold my own at all in the stand, stand up department. And, um, you know, after that first round, after, you know, I kind of was figuring them out a little bit, I started to kind of turn it up, turn it on. I knew my cardio was there. So um, it feels good, you know, and it definitely feels a lot better that I know another fight's right on the line, you know, in this tournament. That's what I love about these tournaments. You know, it's not a fight and we'll see what happens and, and call you a couple months. It's I know when I'm fighting. So, and who I'm fighting potentially. And in the first round, he caught you with a couple of really loud uh, body kicks and then a high kick that, that appeared to stun you. How hurt were you when he hit you with the, the head kick? No, I wasn't hurt at all. Um, the body kicks were, I mean, they were more loud than anything. Um, but I, I knew I didn't want to keep taking them. The, the leg kicks actually were worse than the body kicks. He was catching my elbow and stuff. But um, I felt fine throughout the, throughout the whole fight. I can see when he was kind of coming in, you know, with his left hand too. And I was either jab and countering or, or throwing my right back or getting a takedown. So um, after that first round, I started to pick it up and see everything. And then somewhere between round two and three is when he seemed to kind of slow down a little bit. And that's when you shot and got that takedown. Uh, how hard was it to be patient and not get overzealous like the first time? Uh, very, very hard. You know, that first, uh, first round, I felt like I was losing, you know, that round. And um, in my head, I was like, let's go, let's go, let's get this takedown. And then um, going through my head again, I'm like, you got to be patient. You know, that's what we worked on. So I knew my cardio was there. I knew I could go five rounds hard. And so that's what I was kind of waiting for. You know, all right, let's have him slow down. I'll pick it up. And then, uh, you know, you, you have a matchup coming up here next week. And you talked about this a little bit in the cage, but uh, can you break it down for me a little bit with, with Corey Anderson and uh, who, who you think is going to win that one? Yeah, I don't know much about the Russian dude. Um, I know Corey really well. I trained with him before, you know, um, a couple times. when I, I brought him in when I fought Phil Davis. You know, um, good guy, but it was a long time ago. Um, 2015, 2017, so we've both grown since then. And he's been on a tear. He's been looking awesome. He's a grinder. Um, I don't know much about the other guy, you know, so it's one of those things where we'll watch a fight next week, and and if the other guy wins, I'll, I'll jump into him pretty heavy here, um, you know, but if Corey wins, I've seen Corey, Corey a lot, and that's going to be a good fight. Congrats on the win, Ryan. Thank you. Um, now that the fight's over, uh, I'm just wondering if you can talk to me a little bit about the difference in approach, like mentally and physically. Um, for this fight? Yes. For, for the yes, first sorry. one? Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that, from our first fight that we fought, Machida and I, yeah, it was so long ago that... I mean, we've been through everything, you know, I, I've been a world champion, uh, uh, you know, two division champion. Um, I've had losses in that time, you know, it, it's just, I've grown in that nine years tremendously, you know, and uh, um, that's why I wanted this fight. I wanted to, you know, prove to myself, most importantly, you know, how far I've come since that fight, you know, and, and I felt comfortable in this fight. You know, that's one of the better stand up guys, one of the, the harder puzzles to figure out, you know. Um, and I knew I could. I just needed a round. Yeah, well, as soon as you took him down to the ground, it seemed like he didn't have much of an answer for that. Is that something that you suspected? Yeah, you know, it, we were prepared not to be able to take him down, you know, because he does have that really great takedown defense. But um, I could tell beginning of the second a little bit. Once I did get that one takedown, I always feel my opponents when they kind of lose a little steam, you know, and they start going down. And for me, that, that I smell blood, you know, and I'm like, all right, I know I can go the whole time hard. So it's just only going to get worse for you. So, um, you know, I felt that. And when I feel that, it's time to, you know, you know, pedal to the metal and just go hard. If you make it to the final, um, who do you suspect that you're going to see standing across Man, from you? I have no clue. That, that side's crazy. You know, there's, uh, there's obviously Nem Nemkov. Um, but I think he has a real tough fight with Phil Davis coming up, you know. I, I think Phil Davis is a dark horse to be in the finals. Um, and then, obviously, you have Yoel and Anthony Johnson, you know. Um, Yoel's a beast. He's athletic as hell. Anthony, knock anybody out, but he hasn't fought in a while, you know. So, for me, I mean, there's redemption in this whole tournament. I, I, I got one back in Machida, but I've lost to Nemkov. I lost to Anthony Johnson. So, I mean, I'd like it to be one of them. But, honestly, to be in the finals and fighting for the belt, I'd be happy with whoever it is. Yep. We'll take a couple more here, Joe. Ryan, congratulations, man. Uh, you know, as, as you look on that other side, are you almost rooting for, and you kind of just said this, are you almost rooting for Nemkov in that final matchup to, to regain the title against who you just lost it to? Um, honestly, it's, I'm not rooting for anybody over there. 
um, I'm just, I'm a fan to, you know, want, want to watch that side and come through and, um, cause there's another guy over there too, Anthony Johnson, you know, that I've lost to. So, um, both those would be, uh, sweet to revenge, but yeah, I mean, I want to prove that that wasn't me. My last fight, I was super flat, um, have a bunch of excuses, but it is what it is. I got head kicked, you know? Um, uh, so I want to prove that I'm not that guy that showed up that night. So there's that for sure. Jack, go ahead. Hey, uh, Jack Welch from behind the grind. Uh, Leota was having some, some success in the first round on the feet, obviously, like you said before, with the body kick, and that was kind of stinging you, but you said it made more noise than it hurt. Uh, was using your wrestling skills like your kind of plan A, or was, or was that an adjustment that you just made in the fight? I wanted to. You know, I wanted to – that's our bread and butter, right? Um, control on the ground, yeah. beat people up on the ground. You know, so, yeah, I mean, if I could get that, but I knew it was going to be, he's going to be tough to take down. You know, he's one of the tougher guys to take down. We've seen it, you know, with, uh, you know, he just fought Phil, who, who uh, I don't know if he took him down. You know, he, he's fought um, tons of people, tons of great wrestlers, and he's managed to not get taken down. So I knew it was going to be tough. Um, that's why I was kind of, all right, let's just keep him fighting, keep him going. And then when the time came, when I did get that one takedown, I was going to make sure he was tired, make sure he was going to pay when I got that. All right, last one here, Maria. Hey, Ryan, Maria with Throwing Blows Podcast. First and foremost, congratulations on the win. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the leg lacing, the arm lacing, you were putting on a wrestling clinic. Um, but it seemed that there were some opportunities, especially uh, in the third, where you could have actually gone for a submission versus continuing with the ground and pound. Can you talk me through why you decided to not chase a submission at all and continue to just try to work the pressure and work on the ground and pound? Or was it something that was just kind of like an autopilot type thing? Yeah, I mean, I had a little bit of a kind of a key lock, uh, but we were kind of at a weird angle. And then I had a kind of a straight uh straight kind of arm bar um his elbow is popping and stuff like that but he's not going to tap to that you know i couldn't get that much leverage if i could have turned it into kimura potentially i would have went for it a little harder um but we were in a weird position up against the cage and so with that key lock you know i wasn't pushing it too hard um i kind of gave it all i could get without really getting out of position so i decided to go back to the ground and pound all right thanks ryan